This is a quick video on how I resolved a blue screen of death error that I encountered when installing Windows 10. The specific stop code is bug code NDIS driver. I'm going to go ahead and show the steps that I use to resolve this, but computers are as diverse as the people that use them, so your exact steps will probably vary. Based on what I found from researching this, this error is typically caused by a network device. So a good place to start troubleshooting would be either the wired network interface card or the wireless adapter. I ran into this error when I was building a new machine and I had finally gotten all the parts and gotten everything put together and then I started the Windows install. And there was nothing unique about this install, it was just your typical next 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 I agree bog standard Windows installation. I've done this plenty of times in the past and never had any issues, so I was pretty surprised that after the first reboot I got this blue screen message. After getting this error, even if I rebooted the machine, the installation was already hosed at this point so it wouldn't continue. What I did to fix this is I rebooted my machine and then went into the BIOS by tapping the F2 key. Different manufacturers may use different keys to access the BIOS, so just reference whatever shows up on the first screen that you see when you turn it on. Alright, so on to the fix. The motherboard that I purchased came with a built-in wireless card, so I decided to start troubleshooting there. I hit F7 on the keyboard to access the Advanced menu, and then arrowed over to the Advanced tab, and then went down to Onboard Devices Configuration and expanded that menu. Then I went down to Wi-Fi Controller and set that to Disabled. Then I hit F7 to exit that menu. Then hit F10 to save and exit and hit OK to reboot the machine. When the machine rebooted, I still got this message about the install encountering an unexpected error, so it wasn't possible to recover this install. Not a big deal though, I just rebooted again and went back into the BIOS using F2, and then hit F8 to pull up the boot menu. I selected my external USB drive that I'm booting to to install Windows 10 and hit enter. And then same thing, typical next 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 install. I wanted to wipe everything out and start the install fresh with the wireless card disabled, so I deleted all of the partitions here and then re-ran the install. This part does take a few minutes, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through it. But this time the install was not interrupted by the blue screen message, so that isolated the issue to something involving the wireless card. So I was able to successfully get Windows 10 on this machine and get it booted up and at the desktop. At this point I went ahead and restarted it. Then I went back into the BIOS and re-enabled the wireless card and rebooted. And when it came back up in Windows, again the same blue screen referencing NDIS driver. So I went back into the BIOS one more time, went back into the wireless card, disabled it again, and then rebooted. And once I was back in Windows, I took the driver's disk that came with my motherboard and ran through the install so that I could get all the drivers loaded. This part also took a little while, and the machine kind of went on autopilot, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through all of that. But basically whenever it finished, I went back into the BIOS one more time and re-enabled the wireless card and rebooted again. Once I was back in Windows, I went into the Device Manager and then expanded Network Adapters to see how the wireless card looked. And it had a strange status message that made it sound like Windows wasn't finished setting up the device. I hadn't seen this particular error message before, but I had a feeling it was still related to a driver problem. So I went to the Driver tab for the wireless adapter and then hit Update Driver and browse to the directory on my USB thumb drive where I had the driver stored. And wouldn't you know, Windows was able to find the correct driver in that folder and successfully install it. At this point I was good to go with the driver, so I went ahead and closed that of the Device Manager windows. And when I clicked on the network icon down on the bottom right, I was able to see the wireless networks that are broadcasted in my area. I clicked on mine and I was able to put in the password and get connected and get online and everything. And I've had it running for several days now and I haven't seen the blue screen again, so at this point I'm pretty confident it's fixed. So hopefully this information was useful if you're also seeing the NDIS blue screen error. Hit like if this helped you out, and thanks for watching.